What is up, Tang Gang? Welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are staying safe, especially those of you who are doing some kind of in-person component of school. Uh, for those of you who are doing completely virtual school, I hope you guys are staying productive. In this video, I wanna talk about a test-taking strategy that I found to be particularly useful in my own uh, practice. So a lot of you know I'm studying for the MCAT right now, and a large part of studying for the MCAT is taking practice tests. And so through these practice tests, I've developed this strategy um, that works particularly well in the reading comprehension section um, that I wanna share with you guys. So here's the strategy. It's to formulate your own answer choice um, before looking at the answer choices provided. So if you guys have taken the ACT or SAT equivalents of the MCAT reading comprehension section, um, you guys know how tricky these questions can be. It's because three of the four questions are literally there to mislead you. So if you allow yourself to read the options immediately after reading the question, it's easy to persuade yourself into choosing the wrong answer. Um, but by formulating an idea of what the correct answer choice may be before looking at the options provided, and then looking at the options and comparing it with your formulated um, idea, uh, you can basically say whatever one is most aligned with my thought process is the one I'm gonna choose. And it's likely to be correct many of times. Um, so I found this to be particularly useful in my own practice. Um, so much so that when I stopped using this method, when I started just going back to my old method of immediately reading the options again, I found like a noticeable decrease in my scores. A cool thing about this test taking strategy is I think it applies to things outside of test taking. In my freshman year of college, I participated in a lot of case competitions and uh, consulting projects. And I and my team members found that before meeting together, it's really effective to first individually brainstorm um, what our proposed solutions would look like for a certain problem. Um, and then we can come together and discuss among each other. But it is essential, like that period before meeting, to think independently. Um, doing so will prevent like groupthink, where only one individual's ideas are truly conveyed or enacted upon um, in like a brainstorming session. So I hope you guys uh, think about this strategy. If you've already t tried it for yourselves and it's worked, or if it hasn't worked, let me know in the comments. Um, and if you plan on trying this soon, please come back, get back to me on what you think about this strategy. I'm really interested in what y'all think. Until next time, Tang Gang, I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.